hello everyone this is uh, pull it on the four feet uh, welcome to my youtube channel so if you are new into this channel make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button you understand and also make sure that uh, uh, if you are a retaining subscriber make sure you share this video with um, uh, many of your friends you understand so that uh, they can get inspired so guys yo uh, today i'm super excited to understand the topic of today uh, we'll be talking about how i was able to transform just my normal audi a train to a dark horse one cent uh, so yeah i'm gonna be taking you through uh, the video so make sure you enjoy the video hey, this is the hyperlife team guys give me a lot of energy Okay, so in terms of uh, what made me want to buy a car, understand? Like, uh, uh, remember 2019, understand? I always wanted to to be one of those people who are driving, also understand? Because uh, some of the people who were who were mentoring me already, they were there, understand? So I was also tired of Ubering. I was also tired of uh, of catching taxis, understand? So I wanted to see myself. Uh, wanted to see myself uh, also. A one day driving one cent uh, but i remember 20 2019 and also beginning of 2020 i didn't even have a license i didn't even have a learners one cent but i just wanted to say i wanted to drive i remember even uh, one of my mentors uh, always said to me pull a, a do a license pull a do a license one cent so that's what uh, inspired me to just say i want to buy a car one cent so i mean like you went to different dealerships what made you Choose the Audi. Okay, so yeah, uh, in terms of choosing the Audi, you understand there was uh, one of my mentor uh, who was driving an Audi A4, a grey Audi A4, you understand. So I was always looking up to him because I was always inside the car, I was always feeling the comfort, you understand. I remember we used to travel with him to Deben, where we understand. So I just said to myself, hey, maybe uh, my first car can just be Audi, you understand. At that time, uh, the car that I wanted at that time was Audi A1, you understand, because I was limiting myself in terms of, you understand, I just wanted something, a starter pack, because I didn't have a car before, just wanted something to start with, so I started to think about Audi A1, Audi A1, the more I go to these dealerships checking, you understand, which car can I get, I started thinking, oh, Audi A1, I'm limiting myself, you understand, I can go for more, I told myself I can go for more, so I started looking at the cars, like, I started looking at the, I remember I look at uh, there was this guy told me about the Audi A3 one cent. He said uh, for for me it can be good to start on the Audi A3 one cent. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, lots of dealership they were telling me about the Audi A3. Uh, then uh, yeah, it was just uh, uh, and also I went to VW. VW uh, they were telling me about the Type One. Is this Type One? You understand a big car? You understand that's all. Uh, I was also interested in that, but I was more interested in the Audi. You understand the four rings you understand yeah <laughs> okay so when did you buy your car and how was the feeling must be very exciting yeah so uh just uh, just to touch on uh when did i buy the car and also the, the process of me buying the car you understand i remember i bought the car in november uh, november 2020 uh, i don't remember the date nicely you understand i remember at that time uh, when i when i went to that dealership I didn't even have a license and uh, I didn't uh, I was still uh, in the process of, of doing a, le a learners also you understand and I didn't have a license you understand I remember the same day I got my license the same day I went to the dealership uh, to, to buy the car you understand so that's how amazing it was you understand uh, which was 2020 November you understand that's the day when I bought the car at the age of uh, it was only 21 years ago guys you understand when I bought my first car Okay, what inspired you to transform the car from an A3 to a beast that it is now? Okay, so in terms of what inspired me to be able to do that, you understand? So I remember the day I bought the car. Uh, you know, guys, when you start, uh, when I bought, what, what I can tell you guys, before I bought the car, I didn't like cars. I was not the person who likes cars, who likes watching cars, those kind of things, you understand? But after I bought the car, I started looking at cars on social media. I started looking at cars on social media. 
Uh, that's inspired me to want to transform the car to add few things on the car you understand uh, because of uh, i started to develop the lab for cars because i'm driving the car daily you understand uh, sure. <laughs> and how did you come up with the name dark horse okay yeah the name dark horse you understand uh, i remember even before i bought the car uh, i like to watch i like uh, to watch uh, this video of uh, this boy called my one the one saying he was uh, uh, he was uh, he liked the uh, reviewing cars you understand he liked the uh, reviewing cars there was this day he went to audi it was audi mchanga you understand he was with this guy then uh, uh, they spoken about uh, it was uh, this audi it was audi s3 they spoken about the audi s3 and uh, they said that this uh, this s3 is one of the darkest uh, the darkest horses in the whole of uh, in the whole of this uh, in the whole of this uh, dealership you understand that's when i said oh, okay dark horse okay because uh, at that time when i went to the dealership also i wanted a black car you understand because i wanted to name it the dark horse you understand because it because of what i had there you understand that's how, how i came up with the name dark horse when i, I remember even the day i first the car uh, to the dealership i said uh, i'm coming to take my, to take my dark horse here do you understand it had the name already even before i first did you understand yeah Okay, so tell us more about the transformation of your car. Okay, so in terms of the transformation, uh, what I just wanted to do on the car, uh, I remember showing my brother after buying the car, I just wanted to put the, the front grid, you understand? Uh, and, and also the front lip, those are the two things that I wanted to do. But there was this guy in my team who, is, who, who kept on telling me, Pule, who kept on showing me different ideas of what I can do to the car, you understand? He started showing me different ideas, you understand? One of these days, we went to Sunnyside, where he just said, Pule, let, let me go and show you something there. Uh, let me go and show you something. We went to Sunnyside on a place uh, called the Big Boy Tw Big Boys Toys, you understand? When we got there, he just uh, told me, Pule, put this on the car, put this. I asked him, will it be nice, man? He said, yeah, it will be nice, let's try this. Then uh, that's when I put uh, the front lip, the front lip, the one in front. Then I also put the, the, the rear wing, yeah, it's the rear wing, the one at the back, the front lip. And the rear wing, the one at the back. When the car came out, it was so it was so nice. You understand? I, I really liked it. You understand the way? I really liked it the way, the way it was in terms of that. You understand? Then from there, I started to I started watching the the Instagram. What more can I put? What more can I put? Then I came up with these guys called the Sports Max Design. That's when my game started to change. You understand? That when I came up with these guys because they were doing lots of things to the car. You understand? I remember DM that guy say, okay, I want to do this to the car. Then he said, okay, let's set up an appointment. Then we started doing that. So when I went to Sports Max Design, Sports uh, Max Design, back at the box bed, uh, the first thing that we do, do, we did the badges. I changed the badges. If you have uh, seen the car, you, I'll just post it also. Uh, I changed the badges uh, from being silver to red and black. I changed those badges, you understand? Uh, then uh, we did the, also the... Uh, the diffuser, the diffuser is the one at the back. We did the diffuser and also we did the side skirts, the ones on the sides, you understand? Uh, then we did the, what is called the, um, we did the uh, we light tinting. We tinted the lights to be a bit black, you understand? Yo, uh, hey, that, that, that was massive also, you understand? And also we did the, we did the, we, did, we put it what is called the canals, canals or what? The ones on the sides, the, those small things on the sides, we put those things, you understand? And also we changed the max into black. We changed the max into black, you understand? As you've seen on the car. And also guys, I have the red and black max. I have two max. I have the black max and also the, the red and black, you understand? Uh, I, the rims, you understand? And also I got, I changed it. I changed the, the front grille. Uh, I changed the front grille, you understand? Into a RS3 grille, as you've seen there. Uh, the front grill I got it from uh, uh, Capon Capon Sport from Prajimi Capon Sport uh, Prajimi you understand and also I tinted the windows uh, the whole car is black out uh, from this guy called Raza uh, I'll, I'll take his Instagram Raza uh, in uh, uh, Pretoria Central you understand that's where you can find that guy you understand so I just spoken about some of the the uh, exterior things that I've done you understand. Uh, outside of the car, you understand? Inside of the car, uh, inside of the car, I, I, I just, uh, uh, I just, uh, they just uh, did that thing. Uh, 
they just uh, wrapped wrapped a uh, uh, few details inside the car into red to understand those are a few things that i've done then also uh, i wanted to turn a one pipe into a four pipe now <laughs> I wanted to turn a one pipe into a four pipe because I thought, okay, if it's four pipe, it will have more sound. I didn't know, I didn't understand those things, you understand? Then when I said on Instagram, I found this guy, Vec, Vec Tuning SA. Uh, that's when I found these guys, uh, they are at Midrand, right? That's when they put it uh, full exhaust for me. First time when I went full exhaust, uh, they put it, uh, the quad exhaust, the four pipe, you understand? I'm also going to take them, you understand? And then... Uh, Right now the car has the, the full exhaust. Then I went to Spot Max. Spot Max they put at me the down pipe. They put at me a down pipe that I'm having now. Uh, then also I went back to VEC tuning. They put at me a, a intake, which means my car inside has the has the full exhaust, the down pipe and the intake. You understand? That's why it sounds so nice. You understand? Why did I wanna do that? Because I should felt like when I'm driving the car, I wanna hear the sound. You understand? Wanna hear the sound, you understand? But and also what I can tell you guys, uh, this uh, I didn't do everything all at once. No, I, I kept on doing step by step, bit by bit, step by step, bit by bit. And also what I've done on the car also, uh, I branded it Happy Life Nutrition from this guy called the, uh, from this guy called the Yami uh, Central uh, PTA Central, you understand? This guy branded my car nicely once then and also put it that you see this uh, green thing in the front He also put it that green thing in the front you understand uh, you see right now it looks amazing and also uh, on the on the sound it sounds amazing you understand <laughs> you seem to be in love with your dark horse and have you considered buying a new car yeah yeah yo yeah I've, uh, because uh, always guys uh, for me guys my mindset is always i'm always expanding my mind you understand always expanding my mind always expanding to uh, look into uh, another thing do you understand you understand so the car that i'm looking for right now is the a45 the a45 you understand uh, started, i started falling in love with the a45 some of you for sure you have seen on my social media i keep on posting that car you understand uh, but one of the days uh, you'll see me driving that a45 you understand just stay tuned today <laughs> so when you get your a45 would you consider selling a dark horse? Hey, yeah, that one. Hey, that one. <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, I'm thinking of having two twins. You understand? Uh, dark horse because he's a guy. Dark horse. Then I want a lady, which is an A45. You understand? They will be together like this. <laughs> you go, guys. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching until this far. You understand? So uh, if you liked uh, this video. Uh, make sure you like the video make sure you comment you understand just comment what you want to see on my channel and also uh, Just comment anything that uh, impressed you about the video you understand and also make sure you share this video with as many friends as possible You understand and also hit that subscribe button guys you understand uh, so that you can get to see more content That will be dropping soon you understand don't forget to follow me on Instagram at bullet 24 feet you understand so yeah man